you're alluding to some of the issues uh, that a lot of organizations must grapple with regarding security and privacy and some of the, the, the complexities that any organization, as they think about the best way of curating and making use of the data of the organization and, and customer data and so on. Talk a bit about some of your perspectives from that uh, perspective. Um, yeah, I know that you've talked about the, an idea of the trusted compute base, and I wonder if you could talk a little bit about what that means and what's behind it. Yeah, I mean, one of the ways to think about security is to ask how much of uh, the hardware and software in a computing system do you need to, to rely upon to, to protect any, any given bit of sensitive information? And, and that's where this idea of a, a trusted computing base or, or a TCB comes into play. You, you can kind of think of it as like, the, um, like it's the circle of trust that you have around some sensitive information. The bigger that circle is, the more risk that, that the information will leak to, to some adversary or to some negative purpose. And so once you understand this concept of the TCB, the goal is to try to make it um, as small as possible. Um, it, it has to be big enough so that you can do something interesting, but you want to get it down to you know, a, a very minimal set of well-understood and, and trusted components. Um, and then if you can achieve this, then the rest of the system might somehow be compromised, but at least the data that's in the TCB would, would be safe. And so this is a really important concept, especially when we think about distributed computing, um, not just the computing that happens within a single system, but, but as it gets distributed out, you really need to understand where software and data is coming, who the different owners are. And, and this is a really big, big challenge, a big design and architecture challenge. And now you could say, well, doesn't encryption solve this? Why don't we just encrypt data? Um, and absolutely, that's a, a very important tool. Um, and it works, especially when data is at rest. You know, if you have sensitive data, it's in a storage system, encrypt it. That makes sense. We know how to do it. Or even if you're moving data around, um, we, you know, it's routinely we now encrypt data before moving it over, over networks that, that may not be trusted end to end. But when it comes to the time that you want to actually compute on the data, you've got to bring it into the clear. You've got to decrypt it. And that's where, where it gets hard. And so um, one of the ideas that we've been developing for, for many years now is, is the idea of a, a trusted execution environment. It, it's basically a, a safe place within a system where you can unpack that data, decrypt it, and then run some algorithm, some code over it without the rest of the system being able to see it. And, and we've built a lot of these trusted execution environments in Intel Labs um, over the years. One of them was based on um, virtualization technology. I mentioned that earlier. You can build what's called a, a, a hypervisor uh, or a virtual machine monitor that you run underneath an operating system. And um, you can also have the system cryptographically measure that, that hypervisor so that you know that it, it's what it, what it claims to be. And uh, in fact, this is something that we now routinely see in PCs. There's, you know, a security hypervisor is, is a common thing with it within a system. But the problem is you still need to trust the OS that's running above the hypervisor. And that can be millions of lines of code. And so um, as we've sort of progressed in our thinking here in our research, we, we've been looking at ways to further shrink the, the TCB. And, and we've done that with a, a new technology that we call SGX or secure guard extensions. And the, the basic idea of SGX is you, you wanna create this, this enclave, this place where you can run programs over, over data that, that's been decrypted. But anytime data leaves the enclave, it becomes re-encrypted immediately. And the kind of the amazing thing about the SGX design is that the OS doesn't need to be in the enclave and, and any other applications don't need to be in the enclave. The system BIOS, all of that can be outside of the TCB. The only thing you have to trust is the application, the data that it's operating on, and then the hardware, you know, the Intel processor that, that's building the, the enclave. 